Hey guys, welcome. Welcome to Artistic License. Oh, let's kill the tunes. Let's kill the tunes. Okay. All right. Welcome to Artistic License, the show where we do whatever I want for a couple of hours on Thursday night. And today we're going to play Final Fantasy X. We're going to do, do another another part of it. We're going to ride a chaboke bow. Um, I have it muted because it's dinner time. Oh, okay, okay. I understand. Well, thank you so much for, for joining me. Oh, let me turn on the closed caption so that you have that. Uh, let me find where I did that. Okay, closed captions are on now for you, Thumper. Oh, I need to tell you in the chat. Closed captions are on now for you. There we go. All right. Um, we're going to play Final Fantasy X today. We're going to do some more of that, right? We're going to get on a Chibokubo, do some other fun things, get a little bit more progress in that game. Um, I added some tunes to, like, the the starting soon and, uh, and ending soon and things like that, so you'll have a little bit of something to listen to while you're waiting for the stream to go live, because I know... Um, you know, the notifications go out at different intervals, so I like to start and then wait a few minutes before I actually come on. Y'all know that. She got very excited about Evie. Oh, Eliza likes the Evie. Here we go. Do you see? So she can see it a little bit better. That's for you, Eliza. I'll try to, um, I'll try to keep it clean and nice since Eliza's watching. <laughs> All right, guys. So let's, um... Let's talk about a few things. Let's talk about a few things. So, small announcement. I'm basically at 100 followers. What? And I want to say thank you, thank you to every single one of you guys. I am working on what we're going to do as far as the 100 followers goes. Oh, she's watching Little Mermaid. Oh, good. Okay. Um, because we're not technically there yet. Like, if you look down there, you'll see I'm at 99. That's because of the bot stuff that's going on on Twitch right now. I don't know if you guys have heard, but we've got, like, a situation where there's, like, bots that are following people, and then they find the bot and they get deleted. So I keep bouncing around, like, 99, 100, 101 as, like, I gain and, and lose followers. Um, but we will be at 100 very, very soon. Might get it tonight if we get a follower tonight. If if not, I'm sure I'm going to be there by the time we do the Saturday stream, right? And I hope, um, Kendra, I know I'm pretty sure you're busy, but Thumper, hopefully you're going to be there for Among Us on Saturday. Okay, let's talk about, let's talk about the video. So we had a um, inspiration video that we did this past uh, Fair Room episode. So yesterday we had Inspiration Flowers. This was something that had been on my inspiration video list for a long, long freaking time. <laughs> so finally got around to it, you know, it was just um, having so much fun with those Zodiac videos that it just took me a while to to get to some of the other stuff. So for um, for Valentine's Day, you know, for the month of February, of course, we, we had to do some like, some very uh, romantic, videos and this was one of them so some flower symbolism here and uh, we only had time to cover like five flowers i think in there we talked about roses lilies mums poppies and daisies i think it was if i remember the video correctly so if y'all like that one please let me know we could do like a whole nother video with five more flowers there is like so much especially to like victorian flower language and then if you look at other cultures there's just so much to flower symbolism this was a really fun one to make because I got to do a lot of fun research and a lot of fun editing. This was a very aesthetic video, right? It was very aesthetic. So, <laughs> so uh, that was that was fun uh, to edit. You know, edit in the pictures of the flowers and the uh, and the footage of flowers and things like that. It was nice. Okay, with that being said, let's get into the game. Let's get into the game, shall we? Let me get that going for you guys. Okay, come on, Twitch, load up the game. Let's get the volume up here so you guys can hear it. I'm just looking at my levels. Yeah, that looks good, that looks good. I'm gonna turn myself up just a little bit. There we go. Okay. So last time, we made it to the Meehan High Road and we got told about a monster that's eating chocobos. So, let's get into it. Mr. Rin's shops are all over Spira. They are quite convenient when you're on the road. Yes, yes they are. Just push me out the way, dude, okay? You guys already got a room, right? Yes, we did. 
I'm not in it though. This might be the last time we can rest like this. Oh, probably right, Lulu. I've heard that the proprietor, Mr. Rin, is in our bed. Yes. But I was very relieved to find that he keeps nothing sacrilegious here. <laughs> I don't know why you would assume that, Shalinda. They're so mean to these Albed people. Like, they don't do anything. They're just trying to exist. Okay. Any good weapons here? Um. Oh, we want that. Yes, because he had nothing. Keep that. Is there anything else we want to replace? This has strength and piercing, so yeah, let's replace that. Okay, so new stuff for Orin, basically. All right. Let's go. Oh. Check it out. That sunset was different from the one I saw in Kilika. It was quiet, almost gentle. What you up to? Yeah, go talk to your crush, Titus. Pretty. Sure is. I wish I could live in a place like this. Peaceful. Living with a smile on my face every day. You can, once you beat Sin, right? Oh, Titus. But then, a new Sin will be born anyway. Well, then you can just beat it again. I wish I could. Hey, you can. Trust me. You are the best summoner out there. Yuna, why does Sin always come back? Sin is our punishment for our vanity. And it will not go away until we've atoned. How do we do that? Mm. What did we do that was so bad in the first place? Ah. Was it using lots of machina or something? Oh. Wait. Was that such a bad thing, really? That's a good question, Titus. Uh, it's funny. Hmm? Ever since I was young, I never questioned it. But now that you ask me if it is that bad or not, I don't know. There are so many things I don't know. Well, then we're the same. Oh, such thinking is very unbecoming of a summoner. Sound like Micah? Very nice, you know. <laughs> oh, so pretty. Kendra, tell me about this live Little Mermaid. You know, during a game, you have to think of Blitz and nothing else, you know? Okay. Mm. Oh. You can't think, that's a cute girl in the fifth seat from the right. And you can't be thinking about where you're going to go on that date. Because the minute you do, that's when you lose. I was right, Titus. Get your head in the See, game. Uh, Yuna, what I mean is, you really shouldn't worry, you know? After we beat Sin, that's when you can worry about the future. I guess. But Yuna, how are you supposed to beat something big like that? The final summoning. It's the only way to defeat Sin. The only way. With it, we can call the final Aeon. That's the goal of the pilgrimage. The faith of the final summoning lies waiting in the far north to greet summoners that complete their pilgrimage. That's where we're going. At the world's edge in Xanarkand. She just explains stuff to him and doesn't even question it. It's so nice. 
She means the ruins of a city destroyed a thousand years ago. You sure it's ruins? That's what I've heard. You'll see it for yourself soon enough. Yuna, come back inside. You will go with us to Xanarkand? Yeah, I'll go. <laughs> I'll go to Xanarkand to see it with my own eyes. You don't have to sound so sad about it, Titus. Accept your fate. I knew it couldn't be my Xanarkin, but I had to make sure. He's holding out a little bit of hope. Kendra, I am so weirded out by all of this that you're telling me. Is it kind of like, you know, how when they do the Broadway versions of the Disney things, um, like Lion King, there's additional songs and stuff? Like, is it like that kind of additional songs, or is it like random weird additional songs that like are on, you know, uh, Disney kids soundtracks. Like, tell me, uh, uh, which which way is it? You're a guardian, right? I think this will help. Ah, oh, thank you, dude. Oh no, I know how to use this. Yes, I've read the instructions. Both. It's both, and it's awful. So it's like additional Broadway songs and additional like kids songs. That's so weird. I can see why it would be for kids then, because that would be super jarring for an adult. I feel like, man, I'm beat. I woke up early for nothing. Well, maybe you should go back to bed. There are so many things I want, I can't decide what to get. Yeah, that fruit does look good. This is another one of those things where, like, if you know the way that the script works in this game, this text, like, it is what it says it is. Like, it, these are, like, words, and it says, like, sail, I think, or something like that. But you can actually, like, directly translate this. And what's also cool about this is you can have, you have, like, a whole map of Spira here, um, and you can see, well, you can't really see down at the bottom, but that's where, like, Kilika and Besaid are. And then you kind of go up in this, like, U sort of shape like this. Queen Latifah is Ursula. <gasps> well, that sounds awesome! I'm not gonna lie. Sorry? Ah, forgive me, sir. I meant to say pardon me, but it came out in Albed. Oh, you're in Albed. Mm-hmm. I am Rin owner of this establishment. Hello, do Huh? It means nice to meet you. Ah, well, uh, Heli do sad we to you too. Mm hmm If you are interested, Elbed primers can be found all over Spira. Don't worry, I know, I have a Finding ton of them. Finding them and learning our language might be fun. Here, let me give you one in commemoration of our meeting. Sweet. Although you might want to be careful where you speak our language. Don't worry, we have an Albed racist in the party. Half the costumes are amazing and half are bad. Sebastian's just a leather jacket. I'm so sorry that you're subjecting yeah, yourself to I that, hear Kendra. Albed aren't liked much. <laughs> oh, uh, sorry. Yeah, that was kind of insensitive, <sighs> Titus. A decky Krisa. A decky Krisa indeed. <gasps> the Chocobos! That's our cue. Let's go. Alright, Oren, you weren't about fighting this thing before, oh, but now you're like, you let's go. Please, use this. You were gonna fight it all along. Mega potion, huh? sweet. Okay, let's go, let's go. This fight is so fun, y'all. To the Chocobo Corral. It's my penis for showing her onward. <laughs> I liked Onward. I thought it was pretty good, but of course it was like D&D &D themed and all that stuff. So of course I was like, I was obviously the target audience for it. Um, the story was typical Pixar fluff. Yeah, it's good. It's cute. It's the, oh, it scared her. I don't, it's been so long since I watched it. What part scared her? 
Oh, good. The chocobo got away. Yay. All right. So, how do I want to do this? Um, let's do... Okay, so we're going to dark attack with Waka. Oh, skill is what I want. So he can't hurt me too bad. Smash or pass this monster. Uh, look at that mouth. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, um, maybe I'm a little bit too gutsy, but um, smash. <laughs> is that wrong? I feel like that's wrong. But, um, but yeah, smash. Oh, wait. Actually, let's put Titus in. And we're going to do haste to Lulu. The shoulders are why pass. Oh, yeah, the shoulders are pretty bad. Um, the shoulders are pretty, pretty bad. Um, oh, I didn't mean to do attack. Let's do... We want to do fire. Yeah. And let's fire again. If you, like, really hyper level, um, then at this monster you can do, like, fire. -a. You can get her next fire and make it, like, super freaking easy. Okay. Um, let's overdrive him. Why not? Why not? He got his overdrive, so... There we go. Uh, thank you for the hydrate, Az. Happy to see you back in here this evening. Now, hit it hard and we can push it back. Hell yeah, knocked him down. That's what we want to do. That's what we want to do. Okay. Let's keep firing with the Lulu. Uh, let's let Titus do his overdrive. Since he's got it. Got it. Okay. Wasn't paying attention that first time. Yeah! So you can actually knock him off the ledge, which is really fun. Um, I don't know if we're going to do that. <laughs> we'll try. We'll try to knock him off. He can actually knock you off on the other side, too. Uh, which knocks you down and you get like a whole different thing that you do. Dinner time, I'll be back in a bit. Alright, no worries. See you in a bit, Az. Okay, let's get Kimari in here. Let's do his overdrive. Fire breath. Since our friend is weak to fire. I have returned. Welcome back, Thumper. You are just in time for our boss battle. Kendra wants to know if you would smash or pass our uh, monster friend here. He's got two tongues, but weird shoulders. So, we're debating. Let's see. I want to have her come in. Let's do... Let's do a null. I think he does a blizzard spell. What special sound I'm going to buy with my points. <laughs> <laughs> the digiti -dig 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 grade legs are a plus, but I gotta see the face. Okay, well we'll see if he flips back over. Um, we might that might not happen. I'm not gonna lie. It's mostly mouth. Yeah, it's mostly mouth. Oh, ah oh, man, almost knocked him off. What's he at? Five thousand. Let's do her overdrive. Gonna do the old technique from the original Mario Party. Spin, spin. The upper body. Yeah, it's really just a mouth. I mean, it's called Chocobo Eater. All it does is eat chocobos. Whew. Okay. What's he at? 4,000. We're not, we're not quite ready for her overdrive. Let's go to Kimari. Mmm. I'll just attack. I'm gonna pass, but the two tongues get a special mention. Well, that's why I said smash, you know what I mean? It's only redeeming factor. <laughs> it has other redeeming factors. Don't be mean, Kendra. Oh, he's back up. Okay. What's his HP at? 3,000. Let's get him down just a little bit more. One more round. Um, I want to try to have Ifrit finish him off. I am here to judge monsters. Well, aren't we all? Aren't we all, Kendra? <clears throat> That's really the point of Final Fantasy, right? Is to judge the weird monsters. Because they have the most interesting ones. For real. Knock them down again. 
I don't know if we're going to get to him being pushed off. I, I feel like I'm not doing quite enough for that to really happen. Ooh, Orin's Overdrive is up. Let's do it, let's do it. Aha, did it. Okay, he's probably low enough for Ifrit now. Okay, you know, I can see... Yeah, he's definitely low enough. Do Yuna's Overdrive. We're gonna take Snuggles out. Kamari, though, could leave me on red for a week and I still text back. <laughs> uh, you know what's great about Kamari, too, is he don't talk. Mm. I, we love a man that don't talk too much. I'm just saying. <laughs> Plus, he's large and in charge. So, you know, that's a great combo right there. Okay. Get him, Ifrit. Ideal man. Exactly. Exactly. Tall, broad, silent. That's the trifecta. Yeah, Snuggles is here. <laughs> Snuggles has a bit of the Warcraft problem, though, where um, he's just hunched over, you know? I call that the Warcraft problem because... So many of the Horde races, like, the characters were just so hunched over, their character models. And I was just like, why can't anybody on the Horde stand up straight? Boom! Dead. Overkilled, too. Which means... We did it. Excuse me. We all have our struggles. Have you been interested <laughs> in renting some chocobos? As a token of our gratitude, the first time is free of charge. Thanks, Rin. Please, ask the attendant if you wish to rent. Oh, the all better, so nice. Thank you so much for saving the chocobos. You're welcome, lady. Well, Thumper, you're using all those big old science words. I don't know, I can't really... I can't, I can't understand that. Will you talk to me, chocobo? No? Okay, well, let's go rent one. I think I talked to her for that. Come back here, lady. Get over here. I guess... I don't talk to her? Summoners and guardians, I saw the fight. I was impressed. Oh, thanks, Elma. That was Elma, okay. Oh, scoliosis. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello? No. Let me ride, let me ride. Oh. Scordoliosis. I get it. <laughs> I get it, I get it. Thank you for explaining. Okay. So we did good. So we get to we get to Rent a chocobo and uh, go about our merry way. Which means that monsters are not going to attack us unless we get off the chocobo, so that's great. So we're going to just go along this road and do a couple things. And then at the end of it, we'll get we'll get a couple of levels. We'll just run around in circles and get a couple of levels and try to get people's um, uh, overdrives back up. Well, let's talk to, talk to our friends. Thank you so much for your words yesterday. Oh, you're welcome, Shalinda. I'm here to help. A safe journey to you. Thank you, Machin. Does he? I feel like he says some. He tells you more of a story. Do I have to get off the chocobo? Hmm? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Hear about the high road? Yes, give me that lore. We are currently traveling a part of the Mehan High Road called the New Road. Naturally, that suggests that there is or was an old road. Mm-hmm. There was. I gotta go do replies. <laughs> you can, um, exclamation point lurk, Kendra. It tells you that. Yeah, give me the lore. I always talk to him. High potions. Okay. So we're gonna go back down on the, the old road down here. That's where we can have fun with our chocobo. But I want to dink around. Don't we all, Kendra? Well, if you want to, you're welcome to. Like, I'm not gonna make you. I think I think you're pretty caught up. I haven't seen you on stale thread checks like at all. Test. This is why you want to get the chocobo. I will be if I don't. <laughs> well, don't. Well, okay. You probably should do them then, because you don't want to be on the check. I don't think they're a big deal, but y'all like to freak out and say that's the naughty list or something. <laughs> What 
you doing on this road? I'm down here to get treasure. I see. The high road ends over there. However, we have sealed off the area beyond for the duration of our operation here. What is this operation they keep talking about? If you need to pass through. Okay, if you say so, Lucille. There's another feather here. Oh wait, Oaka. Yeah. So why they're talking to me like this is if the chocobo eater pushes you off on the other side, you get knocked down here. And you don't have a chocobo or anything, so you gotta fight all the monsters on your way out. We're gonna give him some gill. Yes, yes, Oaka. We're gonna do that. We're gonna give him this yeah no sweat make it up to you that I will thanks I know you will that's why I'm doing this it's a video game I thought I think I ran, ran past it that's okay we'll get this chest Mars crest we need that for later 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 I still am not decided what I'm doing in this game as far as like do I want to do the end game after we finish the story I don't know I guess it really depends on how long it takes us Let's see there we go get some more treasure 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 fortune sphere that's nice the chocobo music in this game is like so lively Okay, then we can go back up here. All right. Um, now what we're gonna do? Let's actually get off of our chocobo for a second. We're just gonna get a couple sphere levels since we didn't fight any monsters on the way, you know, because we had our chocobo. I want to level up just a little bit. Grinding is really not required in this game, but I don't want to make it hard on myself, you know, when I know I could just grind a little. All right. Mend us. Yes, mend us. Oh, I didn't do a sphere, uh, a save sphere or anything after that battle, so they're all still kind of hurt. <laughs> Oops. -a. Oops. -a. I might just go heal up with that save sphere after this little fight. I want to get up their overdrives to some, I think. Let them get attacked a little bit. This early in the game, that's the only way their overdrive is going to go up is if I let them get attacked. Alright, let's bring in Waka. We gotta do... Mari and Titus still. Ah, oh, dang. You are not supposed to die, Waka. Nope, I want items. Come back to us. There we go. The funniest thing, like, I'm playing. <laughs> Calm down. <gasps> oh, Waka. Um, I'm playing this the game right, like in its game sounds. But I actually had like out of the four episodes that we've done so far of this game, I had one of them. I guess I didn't talk enough over a battle. I had one of them get tagged for like the um the shared revenue on youtube not any of the others just the previous episode and they didn't like strike me or anything like there was no penalty it's just that um the the company not me gets half the revenue uh i, I still get some apparently but just not not all of it it's annoying so I guess when I'm battling, I gotta do a better job of like making sure I'm talking the whole time or that there's other sounds playing the whole time. So if you just let the music play, then it dings you. I feel like, I feel like YouTube should know. I feel like YouTube should know that it's a game. Ding. <laughs> yep, exactly, Thumper. Exactly. All right, I'm gonna go up to a save sphere and actually heal everybody up before we do another battle. 
Come here, Chibokabo. Come here, Chibokabo. Does anybody remember? Waka Flocka Flame coming in clutch. Yeah, he do. He's like that. Do y'all remember, um... Oh, that's gonna trigger that cutscene, I think. You have to leave your chocobos here. Come on, everyone off. Ah. Uh, yeah, that's okay. I don't need the chocobo anymore. I just wanna... Come here. Okay. I don't even need to save. Just wanted to heal. Okay. Um... Did y'all ever watch on Newgrounds Legendary Flo Frog back in the day? And that one video, Final Fantasy is an RPG, the only one that I need, it's the RPG for me. Like that video, that thing was the best. There was like a, a, a scene, like an after credit scene at the end. It was like talking about the Final Fantasy VII where you would breed chocobos. And it was like, let's make a Chibokabo baby, in that kind of voice. And every time now, I still call them Chibokabos, like years and years later, to the point that I'm like 90% sure that nobody knows this reference anymore. And it's just me. It's just me. I'm the only one. <laughs> uh, no, I remember the Madness series and the Legend of the Man Whore. Oh yes, Newground Classics right there. Newground Classics. There's nothing like, there's nothing, nothing like the old Newground stuff, you know what I mean? That stuff was magical. Oh, I know what I should have done. I need a dark attack you so you can't hurt me so much. You hit too hard. Okay, here we go. Come on, Titus. Uh, mm, sure, yeah, whatever. If you say so. Alright, let's get Waka healed up. Come on, Yuna. Sure. Restored! Alright, and then Orin Who needs As to battle. Wish. Yeah, sure. I do, Orin. I do wish. <laughs> I think I'm probably gonna get everybody like maybe two sphere levels. I think that's probably good because there are still some more battles coming up before the next boss that we gotta fight. There is still time to get more sphere levels here. But yeah, man, the uh, legendary frog was like the best. And uh, unfortunately, never really transitioned over to doing like YouTube videos or anything. He was really just on Newgrounds and then kind of faded away. But back when Flash animation was king, before Flash died, like those videos were the shit. They were so good. Okay, bye. Win again. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. All right, let's get everybody one more sphere level and then we will move on and watch some more cut to scenes. So I have an update on my my dog is so old story. <laughs> so those of you guys that have been watching the streams for the past, like, I don't know, month-ish, uh, know that Riri, she's gotten very old and uh, she had her annual appointment and she got on some new medications she got on some like really good pain medications and some things like that and she's gotten to the point where she is old enough that we are kind of pampering her you know she's like 16 she's like 16 at this at this point and she's got several medical issues to where we're always like so pleased that she makes it another year you know what i mean and then um and then uh and so we've got her on like yeah she's 16 and so we've got her on uh, wet food now because she is too much of a princess to eat the dry food <laughs> so we don't even try we've got her on wet food and it's to the point where like the cats are so freaking jealous of her like unbelievably madly ridiculously jealous they cannot stand it they think they should get wet food too they like wait for her to finish eating so that they can come and get like the bits that she leaves and they meow constantly when we go to like open a new can of food for her 
and they don't understand. They don't understand why they don't get wet food every single freaking meal. <laughs> the poor things, but they don't get it. And I keep trying to tell them, when you are 16 and elderly and can barely walk, then you can have wet food every meal. I try to explain to them, y'all don't want the reasons that we're giving her wet food every meal, but they don't get it. They don't understand. Looks like he did the animated show for Lloyd, the cinema snob's cat. Yeah, I'm not familiar with that. I don't know. I just He's just somebody I happen to remember from, you know, back when Newgrounds was a big old deal. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> I'm here. Thanks, Yuna. I'm glad you're here. You can cure Titus. Yeah, she is, she is very spoiled. Got dental health dry food for my cat because paying for dental surgery is too much. Oh yeah, oh my god. That's the other thing. Like, I don't know if this is just a US thing or if it's this way in other countries or what exactly, but like, vet care is so stupid expensive. Like, I do not understand why it has to be like so ridiculous. It, it doesn't make any sense to me. Like, the medications are stupid expensive. The visits are stupid expensive. And it's like, I, I just, I can't help but feel like they do they do that because they know that people will pay that much. And so they charge that much for veterinary care now. Like, the whole ideas that we have with how much medications and, and doctors should cost has, like, not only poisoned what we as Americans pay for our health care, but also what we pay for our pets' health care. Like, I can't help but think that they're intertwined. But I don't know. If anybody is in the chat right now that is from, like, not the U.S., <laughs> you know, Europe, Canada, Australia, South America, any anywhere, literally anywhere else, um, <laughs> like, tell me if I'm freaking wrong on that, because it just, it just feels like that that's the case. Maintaining anesthesia on a little creature is probably kind of hard. Well, that's true. Yeah, that is probably true. Um, I do think the smaller the creature, the harder doing anesthesia is. Like I know, for example, um, if you have like really small animals, they won't even do surgeries on them. Like that's just not a thing that they will that they will even consider, because um, it's just too risky. You know, it's just too risky when they're when they're like really small. But I don't really know much about vet care except that it is stupid expensive. You know, that's all I'm really that's all I'm really aware of. Not a doctor. But I know that having an elderly pet is very costly. And I feel like like they know they know that you'll pay it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like they know that you'll pay it, right? Because of course I want my animal to be comfortable and happy and you know, I don't want her to, to be to be thinking about her her elderliness or her ailments or things like that. I want her to be, you know, Doing dog things, running around, taking naps, eating kibble, all that stuff. A lot of vet surgeons won't do spay on rabbits because they're so tricky with, anest with anesthesia. Oh, your advisor's wife is a vet surgeon and they did a lot of them. Yeah. And also once did a neuter surgery on a bat. I feel like neuter surgery would be pretty easy, right? Like you don't even have to do anesthesia for the most part for neuter surgeries. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. I guess unless they have like internal organs, but most mammals do not. <laughs> it's a bat, so? I mean, wouldn't you just be able to like hold it down and snip snip? <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't know. Maybe I'm like, I don't know what I'm talking about, but I don't, I would assume anesthesia is not required. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it would be a little traumatic for the poor bat, but I would think you wouldn't have to put them under. I don't know. Hey, did we smash or pass this thing? Which which thing are we smashing or passing, Kendra? Oh, their bones are very fragile and they don't like having knives up in their stuff. Well, nobody likes having knives up in your stuff, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah, what are, what are we voting on smashing or passing, Kendra? I'm just fighting some monsters right now to get a couple more levels before we do more cutscenes. Um, these aren't bosses or anything of that nature. Boom. Leave those to Sir Or. Don't tell me, Lulu. I know. I know. I'm doing this on purpose. I want to level them up evenly. I'm ridiculous about that. The hands scare me. Oh, the hands on the rock monster thing? 
Yeah, no, pass on that thing, obviously. It's like just a rock. It's like a, a living rock. I'm not smashing the fireball. Uh, yeah, definitely, definitely passing on the fireball. I don't think there's anything, any of the monsters on this, uh, on this particular route that I would smash. I think they're all pass. No, the fire, the fireballs would not be a fun, they're bombs, Kendra. Kendra, you don't recognize bombs, they explode. If you don't, if you don't hit them three times, if you, like, it takes more than three times to hit them for them to die, they literally come and explode in your face. Good talker. No! They just yell at you. Like I said, they, they're they called bombs and they explode. Pass. 100%. That's just all toxic. <laughs> oh, Thumper. Speaking truth. Speaking the truth. Maybe like one wild night? Is that what you're- is that what you're saying, Kendra? Like a- like a one-time thing? Alright, come on, Titus. And then Lulu needs to come in. Okay, over the phone with those. Oh, over the phone. Oh yeah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, because then, you know, if they do explode on you, you can just hang up. No damage taken. I getcha. Did you see the the dual horns? They're they're uh, they're basically animals with big old horns. I don't know if you'd be interested in that. Like I said, I think all the monsters on this road are pass for me. They blow up your inbox when you don't respond in five minutes. Hey, I'm very I am very good at hitting delete, so I wouldn't mind that. I mean anybody anybody that uh, has crawled into my DMs immediately after joining the cafe can probably tell you I am very good at not responding to DMs. It is a special talent of mine. <laughs> There's also the block button. You know, I don't actually- I don't block. I don't know, okay. Is this bad? Please tell me if this is bad. I don't block, because when- I kind of want to see what people do when you don't respond. Some people are, are very nice and they just, they take the hint and they stop talking to you. Actually, most people are. But sometimes you get a crazy that just goes and goes and goes and goes and they just send you message after message after message. And sometimes I just want to see what they're going to say. Is that bad? Is that mean? Is it nicer if I just click block? I feel like it's not because I feel like, I feel like block is a shutdown and it hurts people's feelings. So I think it's, I feel like it's better to just like real life, like old school, ignore somebody and just not respond and not actually block them, you know? That freak that said that all that sexual shit is the only person I've blocked on Discord. Oh, yeah, I can understand that. I block people all over Tumblr. Tumblr is different, okay? You gotta block people on Tumblr or your timeline gets overrun with like the most stupid, god-awful garbage. But I'm not on Tumblr anymore for that reason. I guess Twitter could kind of be the same way. Although I don't really block people on Twitter either. I just unfollow. Like if you retweet a lot of stuff that I don't like and that I find upsetting, I just unfollow you. Like I don't block. I don't know. I don't know. No, I just get blocked for coming onto stream. Kendra, I would never block you. I love you. What are you talking about? Are you saying I block you? You're so nice. I can't imagine somebody blocking you, Kendra. Because you're, like, so chill. Alright, got him a new skill. Wait, I think... Yeah, that was everybody. Okay. It happened again? What What do you mean? What happened, Kendra? We're crusaders, too. We have a lot of work to do. It's my job to clean up everyone's stuff. And I'm delivering food for the soldiers. Big job, huh? Is this like some child labor going on here in the Crusaders? I'm not sure I'm about that. The operation's gonna start soon, all civilians must leave. What if you don't? Then Sin's gonna eat you, mom said Sin eats bad people. Oh my god, yikes. Yeah, yikes indeed, what are you guys doing here, your kids? Jeez, Captain Lucille and Elma should have been here by now. Yeah, they probably should have, but they're back on the road. What is this? Oh. I'm okay. I already know how to ride the Chiboko bows. Thanks. Oh, Dawn is here. How many times do I have to tell you I'm a summoner? Sorry, ma'am. No exceptions. 
You dare impede a summoner's pilgrimage? Sorry, ma'am. No exceptions. Useless. Oh, yeah, I do remember that, Kendra. Those, um... That's, uh, that's a whole other thing, though. That's a whole other thing. Wow, they blocked you, too? I'm so sorry. The Mushroom Rock Road is off-limits to non-Crusader personnel until the end of the mission. Well, I need to go there. It's a pilgrimage. Don needs to go, too. Okay. Oh, it's you. It's me. As you can see, not even summoners can pass. But they'll call on us in the end. Just wait and see. In the meantime, I think I'll have a nap. Oh, Bartello. Well, we know what they're going to go do to waste time. Good idea. Okay, let's go ahead and save. I'm going to collect these, like, fancy brooches. That's a great, that's a great attitude, Kendra. I'm just not social enough to get blocked, but I find it interesting that they knew you were on it. Oh, yeah, that was a whole thing, Thumper. Kendra, feel free to tell the story if you want to. Okay, before I play the next cutscene, I just want to say, speaking of problematic shipping, things like that, on Saturday we're going to be playing Among Us, and the topic is favorite shipping tropes, and we're totally going to get very problematic. We're probably going to get super gay, and we're probably going to get sappy and violent and all of those fun things, because uh, y'all are like that, I'm like that. Um, so, Thumper, I hope you're going to be there. Kendra, I know, I know you're probably busy, but, uh, Thumper, uh, you should definitely be coming to that. Got it, and loser reporting, sir. This is the last of them. Good to have you with us. Go on through. Show me how to play Blitz sometime. No problem, Gata. We'll have Sin beaten in no time. I don't know about that. This looks a little suspicious. Thumper, you are so wrong. That's not true. You are not boring. Definitely not when it comes to your ships. Would be greatly appreciated. What? No way. I am not donating to your operation. Where you're gonna go tease Sin out using its spawn. You're a summoner and her guardians, right? Sorry for the inconvenience. No, you should be sorry. Tell me about the operation. What, didn't tell you? No. Bringing Sin spawn from all over Spira here. I do infer. Sin spawn inevitably draw sin, right? We're going to lure it into a trap. Okay. And then what? Apparently you can only kill it with the final Aeon. I don't see y'all got no Aeons. I'm sorry, I can't let you pass. Oh, so annoying. Okay. Maybe I can join Donna and Bartello. They looked like they were going to go have a fun time. Maybe they'll make it a crowd. Sounds good, right? So, we meet again, Lady Yuna. I yes You look troubled. Is there anything I can do? Probably not with that evil person well. music. I see. Maester Seymour, let me show you to the command center. Hold, I have a request. Yes, Your Grace. I need to have Summoner Yuna and her guardians let through to the command center. But not Donna, she doesn't get to go. Just Yuna. But, but Maester Seymour, Maester Seymour, sir. Do not worry. I will take full responsibility. Very well, they may pass. You got that special guado gel. That's how he gets his hair like that. It is done. Oh, he's gonna... Thank you, you <gasps> Yuna, it's time to go. Oh, right. All right, well, we Who get to go through. He is. Maester. He's a maester. Better get used to it, yeah? Yep. <laughs> That's right. Okay, so we can go through now. 
Any donation toward Operation Meehan would be greatly appreciated. Oh, no, we're not donating. Thumper, that's valid. That is such a valid um, shipping trope. I think the... All hail, Maester Seymour. Oh. More creepy music. Brave crusaders of Spira, protectors of all Spira. Believe in the path you have chosen. Let faith be your strength. I, Seymour Guado, Maester of Yevon, will bear witness to your deeds today. Sir! What's going on? Why is Maester Seymour back in the Crusaders, eh? They're using Albed's machina. They're violating the teachings. Even going against the teachings, they're willing to risk it for the greater good. Waka, I think Maester Seymour sees that too. Yeah, don't be so dogmatic, Waka. Lulu! They're all just trying to beat Sin. I can only speculate. Ask him yourself. He don't want to talk to y'all, he just want to talk to Yuna. Ah, Sir Oran. It is an honor. I would be most interested in hearing what you've been doing these past ten years. I've got nothing to say about it. I see. Sir Aaron must be a great asset as a guardian. Oh, yeah. Your Grace. Please, there's no need for formalities. Excuse me, Maester Seymour. Why is your lordship presently present here, sir? Please. Lulu can't stop face palming. <laughs> Isn't this operation against the teachings of Yevon? Aren't you gonna stop them? It's true. I should. Mm -hmm. However, both the Crusaders and the Albed truly wish peace for Spira. This Operation Meehan was born from that wish they shared. Mm. Although it may be sacrilege to Yevon, their intentions are pure. And I, Seymour Guado, the person not the maester of Yevon. As a denizen of Spira, I wish them well in their endeavor. But using Machina, that's bad, isn't it? Pretend you didn't see them. What? <gasps> Beg your pardon, but that's not something a maester should say. Then pretend I didn't say it. Y you're kidding. From the first time I laid eyes on him, I never did like Seymour. Yeah, he's shady. But you know... Some of the things he said that day, they made a lot of sense to no! me. No! Thumper, I'm so sorry. It deleted all of your messages. What symbol were you trying to use? <gasps> oh, you put a lot of ellipses. I don't know why. I Periods shouldn't be counted as symbols, but whatever. I might just have to turn that off. It's not worth it. Um deleting the bots like that stay alert during your trip i hope this helps obtained ether yeah um kendra that necklace he's wearing goes all the way down his furry belly you must take full precautions here please use this if the need arises high potion sweet just specifically targets me <laughs> apparently it has an issue with you i don't know it is not team thumper for some reason <laughs> I'm so sorry for that. I should have never turned that thing on. In my mind, I was like, this will help get rid of bots. But literally, all it's done is harass you. <laughs> Nothing else. Ah, oh, she got stoned. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Lulu is stoned. We better save her. Come on, Luna. Lulu, have a hamburger. That will help. There we go. Okay. Uh, let's see. Did Kimari go? Yeah, he did, he did, he did. Okay. I'm gotcha secretly cup. a robot. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, for your secret's safe with me. I won't tell anyone that you're actually a robot. Oh, wait, I don't think... I don't think Lulu actually... I think it skipped her turn because she was stoned. Let's do this first, then. Yeah, the, um... 
the enemies on this little area in this road right here. They're super freaking annoying with that. With that stoning. There we go. <laughs> I win again. So Kendra, would you smash or pass on those uh those bat monster things? I mean they're everywhere. They're on the last one too. Excuse pass me, for me. Summoner Yuna? Yes. The command center. Maester Seymour requests your presence there, ma'am. What? Thank you. Seymour. Seymour wants to see me. Take that road to the command center. It's not far. We're still in the midst of preparations this way. Sorry. Okay. I won't go that way then. What about day? I didn't talk to you. Here we go. The Crusaders supplied us with some goods. Here you go. Sweet Phoenix Downs. I always use some more Phoenix Downs. Oh, Oaka's back. Good time, lad. Just talk to you. <laughs> Sneak past the guards, I did. You would, you slimy fucker. Okay, let's see what you got. What you got going on? Anything? Anything worth anything? So it's Null Frost, Slow Ward, no. Be making a fortune with Operation Nehem, Francis. <laughs> you, lad, you get a discount. I owe you one, eh? Oh, yeah. You start getting a discount from him because I gave him money. Send more smashable foes. Well, you know what, Thumper? I feel like we got spoiled because at the very beginning, there's all of those tentacle bosses, right? So it kind of like sets you up, and um, and then it's it's not been it's not been nearly as smashable this episode, you know. After all that, oh, you need some heals, Lulu. You need some heals. But yeah, I'll let the monster union know. Um, more smashable. The slime has potential. I agree, the slimes have potential. Now, unfortunately, the slimes are elemental monsters. So that means, like, you know, like this one's lightning, so you're going to get shocked. So, I mean, if you're into that, that's cool. But probably what would be best would be, like, the fire or ice ones, or, I don't know, the water one. The water one would be safe, at least. But it all just, I guess it just really depends on what you're into. So the elements in this game are lightning, water, fire, and ice. But slime always has potential, you know. That's an easy one. Yeah, water slime would work for me. Exactly. Ooze beast. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Get it, Orin. Uh oh, I think it's gonna explode. Yep. So this is what they do if you don't kill them in three hits. Because I wasn't really paying attention to their HP level. And they blow up in your face. Literally. Get him, Kamari. Screw Earth, I guess. Yeah, um, this game doesn't have an Earth element. It's kind of like fire and, and ice are opposed to each other, right? And then lightning and uh, and water are opposed to each other, and that's how the magic works in this game, or how the elemental magic works in this game. There we go. Da dead, dead, dead. We lose such a powerhouse. She is the best. Killing all the monsters. Heal, heal. Okay. There's an increase. There's increasing fiend activity. This may not be much help, but high potion. Sweet. Thank y'all. Always use items. Always get the items from the NPCs in this game. All right. New road. Maybe some new monsters. Okay. We got a lizard guy. We got one of those the fire elemental things, and we got. Um, a little imp demon. What do you think, Kendra? Smash or pass on this imp demon? It has a face on its groin and on its face. Um, that's kind of weird, right? Bring it on. Smash. <laughs> I had a feeling you were gonna say that. Like, this is this is Kendra's style. I, I felt it. You know? Definitely Goblin King vibes. Definitely Goblin King vibes. It's the second face. <laughs> uh, whatever you say, whatever you say. Also the fireball. Yeah, it does cast fireballs. It does cast fireballs. No problem. I mean, it's an elemental, you can't kill it, Titus. I'm just trying to get you your points. Allow me. Yes, allow Lulu. 
The weird jumbly floating bits. Could <laughs> also have some pieces. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to mark this stream mature next time if Kendra shows up because we just end up playing Smash or Pass on the monsters way too much. <laughs> no, don't run away. Talk to me, talk to me. Ah, oh, monster. Alright, same group again. No new ones. I can't believe he missed! Oh no, and he got stoned! Oh, uh, let's see. I need Waka to kill the imp guy. He can be really annoying. The nose is bad. Yeah, the nose is, uh, the nose is pretty something. <laughs> the nose is a pretty something on that guy. All right. Come on, Kamari. Let's see. He's probably too slow. Yeah, he's too slow. I just should have got him the first time when he attacked him. I don't know why that didn't happen. Let's try again. There we go. All right, Orin, you need your points. As you wish. I mean, these little guys are supposed to be monsters, like that you that you want to kill. Um, Kendra, I don't remember if you were here for the episode that they explained it, but in this so, game, shall we do this? the monsters that you fight, like these little monsters, like this. It's essentially people that died and were too, like, tied to the world to pass on. And so instead of, like, passing on to the far plane, which is what they call, like, their afterlife, um, they become fiends, and then you have to fight and kill them. So we're basically, like, killing people's loved ones right now. Just tons and tons of people's loved ones that died horrifically. The summoner's entourage, please accept this. Hell yeah. Oh man, I hate these pollen things. Okay, we gotta kill that thing fast. Um, let's get this one first. And... That... So annoying, it's gonna confuse me. Are you gonna confuse? Oh, he put Orin to sleep. Okay, well that's not too bad. That could be worse. Do they go to the far plane after being killed as a fiend, or do they just cease to exist? Oh, so I actually do know the answer to that. Oh my god. Please refrain from spamming symbols. I'm just gonna have to turn that off. I'm so sorry, Thumper. <laughs> How many? I guess only three. I guess only three. Um, very annoying. I'll turn that off before the next stream. I'm so sorry. Uh... Oh, it was only one second. I thought it said it timed you out for one minute. It's a mushroom. <laughs> yep. It gives off spores. Yes, it does. Well, in this game, it gives off pollen. <laughs> they don't care. They don't care about the technical nature of what mushrooms do. Let's get rid of you. Let's get rid of you. All right. Come on, Kimari. I wish I could um, have a chocobo on this road. So many freaking fiends. Like, they hit you so much. All right. Cure Titus. And then we'll have Lulu come in and kill it. So Kendra, how do you feel about these, like, squiggly elemental guys? Definitely a pass for me. Like, they don't even have any sort of form. Um, very abstract. More like a painting, less like a, you know, something interesting in that way. Did these guys just have a complete lack of summoners to send their people off the right way? Oh. Um, so I, okay, so I actually do... Please proceed to the command center. I will, Lucille. Um, I actually know the answer to that, but it's kind of like deep lore, and I would have to do spoilers to explain it. Um, but yeah, yeah. Um, you, you got the right thoughts there, Thumper. You got the right thoughts. Uh, it's crazy how deep the lore is in this game and how much thought they put into it, that there's answers for all of this stuff. I dig the abstraction, but maybe when they're not on fire. Well, there's one of each element. I mean, we're looking at the fire ones now, but 
they have, you know, lightning, no water, difficulty. ice, just like the slimes. They're elemental monsters. Spore event. <laughs> oh, that's an idea. That's an idea. We got. I gotta think about that. I gotta think about that. Like, what do we want to do for our first, like, planet side event? Because we're gonna have to have one, you know? We're gonna have to have one. And y'all have been making up some really cool alien stuff. Like, I'm almost, like, spoiled for choices there. Kendra, we already have Gabriel. We can't have a spore event. <laughs> Don't crush your dreams, Thumper. Don't crush your dreams. <laughs> oh, we love Gabe, though. What a cool plot, right? The presence of a maester and a summoner is great for the troops' morale. Thanks, Lucille. I try. Included. Thank you for being here, my lady. You're welcome. And they're good! They're, like, so good. Like, every single one, I'm like, oh, that would be cool. And I'm like, oh, that would be cool. And I'm like, oh, that would be cool. But we can't do all of it. <laughs> Some of it has to stay, like, just, you know, stuff that she talks about, you know? So I gotta figure it out. I don't know. We gotta do something. And I do feel like it should come from some of the stuff that, like, Marie's talked about. Alright. Orin, get in no there. Difficulty. Oh, yeah, because Lulu's just gonna come kill it after you're done. Oop. Okay. Come on, Lulu. There's only certain spots in this game where you really are, like, walking through a lot of enemies like this. And this is one of them. <laughs> Alright. I think we're getting close to the end, though. In the end, I wasn't able to stop them. As you can see... Well, yeah, Shalinda. Seeing their fierce determination, I couldn't just sit there. So I decided that I would do everything in my power to help them. Oh, that's good. You're so nice. Oh, I like that, Thumper. That is an idea for sure. Okay, here's your mushroom friend again. It's gonna pollinate us. <laughs> I agree. Anything to make Marie feel awkward. Yeah, it's definitely a mushroom because it's called Funguar, but it totally uses pollen. Let's see. Uh, I put Walker to sleep. Didn't confuse anybody, though. Thank God. There's one of these guys. Maybe it's not this one that does the confusion. There's one of these guys that, when it does its thing, its pollen thing, it like, it's like confusion on everybody. <laughs> Boo, you're not a plant. <laughs> I wonder I wonder what the um name of the monster and the name of the spell are in uh in the Japanese version if it actually matches or if like in J in Japanese it's like basically mushroom pollen as well. Let's end this. Cuz you never know, it might just be like a localization thing, you know? Like, if, depending on if, if Japanese differentiates between certain of those things or not. I don't really know. Don't know if it's the localization team that made that happen, or if it was a... Depending I like that in the, the original. Turn out, we might suffer casualties. Well, yeah! In such an event, we would be grateful if you could perform the sending, my lady. Aww... Uh... Sure. I guess we can. That's probably a mistranslation. I feel like it would be a mistranslation too, you know what I mean? Like, it's it's just, it seems more likely to me that uh, it wasn't like that in Japanese, and it's just kind of how it got localized. I already went with Titus, so we can just have Lulu come in and heal it. Why is this the same trio all the time? 
Oh, I, it's probably just like this is the most common configuration for this road. Because there's definitely, each area has like more common and more rarer monsters. So like these are just the more common ones and so they pop up over and over. Compared to the ones that are more rare. Lady Summoner, what are you doing here? I was let through. Seymour helped me. Alright, let's go and up. Yeah, we won't get any new ones until after this little area thumper, this mushroom rock road area. Give this to Lady Summoner and grant us your help when the time comes. X potion, hell yeah. Thanks. Thanks for the loot. What's down here? I think there's a chest down here. Pretty sure. Yeah, I knew it. Going up on a Thursday. Yes. Come on, Waka. Get this guy. Bye. Yay! Didn't get to pollen me. I like it when they don't get to spread their seed all over me. It's nice when they keep it inside. My turn now. All right. Pray, and then Lulu can come and kill the fire. <coughs> there we go. Almost done. We're almost done with this area. Da -da 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 gonna do. We're gonna have to do sphere grid at the end of this because they got some levels. Be sure to make thorough preparations here. Put this to good use. Four hundred gil. Hell yeah. Cash is king. Just give me money, honey. That's really all I want, all I really, really want. Watch and weep, Crusaders! <laughs> oh, Titus, you tell him! <laughs> what, Thumper, you didn't like- you didn't like my- my joke? Is too gross for you? I'm sorry. I'm not really sorry. I thought it was pretty funny. Kendra probably thought it was funny. Although it's probably like a moment that she walked away. <laughs> oh, fire this time. Well, that's better. That's better than the pollen. Alright. No problem. And then Lulu can come in and do the ending, like always. Her overdrive's up at least. I haven't really gotten some of the over other overdrives up as much as I wanted to. That's okay though. That's okay. They got lots of levels. Just been I've just been so good at avoiding the damage. There we go, another primer. Z to J. Not that there's a lot of Zs in the English language, but I want to try to get all the primers. Here's one of the rare monsters. Okay, we finally see one of these guys. We've seen him before, but here's the version that shows up on this road. So we can, um, we can, for this guy, smash or pass. What do we think? What do we think for our, like, um, reptile-y bird man? Dark attack, so he cannot hurt me. And then we kill, kill, kill. No. <laughs> Kendra, your tastes crack me up, I swear. Like, you are so funny. Like, you're like, absolutely not on this weird thing. But like, on the weird, like, goblin thing, you're like, yes, smash. Honestly, I've been starved of smashable critters. <laughs> He's a last resort booty call. Yeah, not so good this time. Not so good this time. Maybe next time.
Oh, thank you so much for the raid, Lunar. Oh my gosh. You're the best. Holy crap. Hey, Sleepy. We're playing Final Fantasy. <clears throat> How's it going? Oh, hell yeah. Hey! I saw you were streaming right before I started, and I was like, Oh, she's finally streaming early enough for me to watch. And then I was like, Oh, wait, no. It's Thursday. I can't watch. It's my streaming day. <laughs> Usually, I wake up and see the notification. Like, when I wake up at, like, 2 a.m. to go pee or something, I'll see the notification. It's like, Oh, Lunar streamed last night. I didn't get to, didn't get to participate. <laughs> What is raiding? It's when another streamer ends their stream and uh, they send everybody your way. So that means we have a bunch more. We have um, basically Lunar's friends coming and viewing us now. So, so Lunar and Sleepy, it looks like. Maybe there was one more? Oh, I got a follow half an hour ago. Bahamut, thank you so much for following. Uh, I didn't see it. I guess my alert sounds are not working. Let me check something real quick. Um, replay this. The visual is working, but the sound is not. I'll have to look at that later. Trying to stream earlier. Oh! Well, I think that's a good idea. I don't know. I mean, I don't know who watches the later streams. I mean, West Coast people, I guess, would probably watch later ones. Oh, Lunar! Um, you probably don't know yet. We're playing Among Us on Saturday. So you should definitely make sure you're at Saturday's stream so that you can play Among Us with us. All right, we are at the end of the road, finally. We've secured the command center perimeter, but please take this as a precaution. Mega potion. Hell yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and save. And we got a cutscene. I only you, sir. I want to fight too. Orders are orders. I'm not a cadet anymore, sir. Yeah, he's not a cadet anymore. Let me go with you and I'll prove it to them. Guarding the command center is important too, you know. But I came all the way from Besaid to fight Sin, sir. I know, but an order's an order. To your post, Crusader. Yeah, to your post. Follow orders, remember? But, sir! Keep your head down and say sir a lot. <clears throat> Oh, okay. Well, if you have a snow day, Lunar, then come by. If you do have to work, though, of course, go to work. <laughs> Don't skip work for a stream. Alright. I didn't realize you could get attacked up here, but I guess you can. Alright. Let's try to... Let's try to quicken this. Dark attack. And then... He... He can power break. I guess we'll power break him. He doesn't have armor break yet. They might not like it if the front desk girl doesn't come in without warning. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, nobody likes when that happens. It kind of makes a bad day for everybody when your front desk person does not come in. <laughs> so, I agree. Alright, let's pray. We were supposed to just go to another cutscene, but this bird bird friend here decided it was time to attack us instead. Now we have to deal with his dumb butt. Titus. Oh, what you getting to Nam on? Probably some pizza, right? Is your pizza fiend? Alright, just kill him. Oh, thank you so much, Sleepy. I really appreciate that. Since, um... Since I'm, like, all professional... How did you know? I remembered! You love pizza! Um, since I'm all... I'll have to be all professional at work. Really, the stream... Well, and I'm not leaving the house anymore, obviously. Uh, haven't left the house in a year. <laughs> in the before times. So I try to wear, like, my fun t-shirts for streams. Uh, because that's the only time that people really get to see them. There we go. He dead now. We're thinking of maybe having pizza tomorrow night for Friday. Not quite sure yet, though. Still thinking about it. They let you through, huh? Hmm. Gata deserves better. At 
least there's no chance he'll get hurt. Why are you guys fighting anyway? Aren't the almighty outbed machina enough? They still need some time to get them ready. Our job is to keep Sin at bay till they're done. <sighs> so bitter, Waka. <laughs> <laughs> that animation cracks me up. Waka. I might not get another chance to say this. It's about your brother. Luzu, no! What? What? I'm the one who convinced him to enlist. Mm. Oh. <sighs> I'm sorry. He deserved that. He deserved another one too. Walker. That's enough, Walker. When we used to play Blitz together, Chapu used to say, "He said that when we won the cup, yeah, he proposed to Lulu, and then one day he goes off and becomes a crusader, just like that." Poor Lulu. Chapu also said to me that being with your girl is good. But keeping Sin far away from her is better. Lou, you knew? Luzu told me before we left. <laughs> she hit me too. All crusaders in the vanguard are to assemble on the beach. That's my cue. Luzu, don't die out there. <laughs> so you can hit me more? Yeah. Lots, lots more. Luzu, please, please don't go. I have to, Yuna. Let him go. The man has already chosen his path, uh -oh. as you did when you became a summoner. <sighs> it would be a long time. Before I ever really understood the reason why Yuna let Luzu pass that day. All right. So now we know when Lulu told Titus earlier to be quiet and he didn't know what he was talking about, basically in regards to like Waka and Chapu and stuff. Well, this was what she meant with Waka trying to take Chapu's place. All right. Let's do our sphere grid before we head on up. Get some more levels for everybody. Power sphere. We got we got like four levels for everybody, which is really nice. Oh, what's that skill up there? What's he getting? He can get one more sphere level for that. Let's see. Oh, delay attack. Okay. That's cool. That's okay. We don't really need that right now, so... Okay, if we don't get it. They tried with the hair movement, but oh, it's frightening. Yeah, um... <laughs> PlayStation 2, when this game came out, they didn't really have hair physics at that time. That was... That was not really a thing, you know what I mean? So they did their best. <laughs> uh, they did their best without really having hair physics. <laughs> Oh, that's not what I want. I want this. And then one more. Get her some HP. Alright, Walka. I think he might be our last one. 
We honor the predecessors. Yeah. I still think this game is gorgeous. You know what I mean? I still think it's like a really beautiful game. Despite the fact that the technology is quite old at this point. Like I'm still blown away by how gorgeous some of the cutscenes look. Hey, Riri. Hey, girl. The puppy just woke up from her nap. She was sleeping so good all stream. But she said it was time to wake up and sit next to me instead. Okay, I think that's everybody. Yeah, that's everybody. Okay. Save. Alright, what time is it? 8 o'clock? Okay. We got plenty more time for some more cutscenes. Let's go. Hey! Po! Let's go! This is a Machina too, by the way, so like, elevator Machina are fine. It's just like weapon Machina, really, that, like, certain people have a problem with, like Waka. Well, it's so quiet, no music. Ow. Why would you kick metal when you have sandals on? Really hates them, huh? <laughs> Waka, please. Chapu. He left the sword Waka gave him in Besaid. And he fought with an Albed Machina weapon instead. That's got nothing to do with it. I just hate these sacrilegious contraptions. Thumper, you crack me up. <laughs> Is there anybody? I think it's just guns up here. I don't think there's anybody to talk to or chests or anything. We're just gonna walk. Oh no, there is people to talk to. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Something about Sin. That's an Albed. We don't have enough primers yet. Z writes too much. Oh hey, Z! He uses a volleyball to fight. He's not the smartest. <laughs> I have to set her in place before the operation. Okay. Yeah, poor Waka. I love him, though. Once Sin emerges from the sea, we'll commence firing. Our shot should should stun it long enough for the Albed Machina to finish it off. And, like, I love that hit the parallel character to Waka a lot of times is Riku. Like, right, like, at the beginning, of, this is no spoilers, this is at the beginning of the game. The beginning of the game, you meet Riku and she gives you food, right? And then you meet Waka and he welcomes you and he gives you food, right? Like, the two most welcoming people that brought Titus into the fold were Waka and Riku, who, in Waka's mind, are enemies. Um, and I just love that. This game has the most amazing storytelling, for real. I thought Ree wanted out of the room, but I guess not. It won't work anyway. Don't say that. Mm. They're trying, it Waka. It might be a hopeless campaign. And it might mean defying Yevon. But the Crusaders and the Albed, they're doing their best to defeat Sin. They want to rid Spira of Sin forever. And that's just what we want too, isn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> all right, all right. But I still think Mac and I are bad news. They're forbidden for a reason. What reason? What reason? Lady Summoner, there you are. Explain it, Waka. The command center is that way. Maester Keenock is also there. Maester Keenock too? Yes. Please hurry, my lady. Okay. We're only moments away from commencing Operation Meehan. Spear's fate hangs in the outcome of this mission. We will do our duty as soldiers and defeat Sin this day. Sir. And remember, it's not just this. 
that the Operation Meehan affected. Remember, this was the whole reason that the Crusaders were not protecting the Col the Coliseum, you know, the stadium. Um, and then the fiends attacked. Matt, you think he shut up after five times, or was that six? No, he will never shut up. The captain just keeps repeating himself. He must be really nervous. Well, of course he's nervous. Y'all about to fight Sin. We're inspecting the weapons right now. Oh, more kids. Come on, swing it like a man. You want to avenge your sister, don't you? I'm going to beat Sin. I'm going to beat it. I'm going to beat it no matter what. Oh my god, this is so sad. Okay, come on now. Pretend I'm a fiend. Die, die, die. Oh, that is fucking tragic. That's like the third child we've seen in relation to this. And Oak is here too. <laughs> oh, you slimy little shit. I'm short on various stuff, so I'm trying to buy them. Everything seems pricier than usual. Yeah! Oaka. Well, we still get a discount because we gave him money. Let's see if he has anything. Ooh, counterattack. Stone touch. Ooh, there's some nice stuff here. There's some nice stuff. Infuse ward. And magic defense. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, we need to sell some things. Yeah. Um, don't need you. Don't need you. Definitely want this. Stone touch is hella useful. Okay, now we need to sell some more things. We can get, like, a bunch of stuff later and actually customize these things, so, like, there's just no reason to hang on to all this stuff. How much was that? 48. Okay. 48. Wait, actually, how tall is Yumi? Oh, good question. How tall is Yumi, Kendra? Yeah, I imagine her tiny too, but I actually don't know. I haven't looked at what the face claim's height is. So she might be tall. Deceptively tall. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and equip that for now. We're gonna go back to the Brotherhood later. Okay. Save. Alrighty. What's going on over here? Yeah, what do you want to know? Oh, tell me stuff. Give me that lore. The Albed provided us with these cannons at no charge. Don't get me wrong, I'm no Albed lover, but I've got a little respect for them now. These cannons have good range, and will give Sin a shower it won't soon forget. Well, yeah, they wanted to feed Sin too. Why would they charge you? Only a select few can become Chocobo Knights. You have to be skilled rider or achieve some combat merit to become one. Captain Lucille is no doubt the best of the bunch right now. I just don't know how the wimp Clasco got knighted. Hey, don't be mean. Well, he's good at earning their trust. The chocobos, that is. Yeah, he's good with the chocobos, exactly. That's why he got knighted. We've researched Sin's past behavior in planning this operation. Sin often turns up when its Sin spawn are. So we hunted down the Sin spawn at various places and brought them here to lure it. When it shows up, we're going to hit it with the ancient machina, and it's bye-bye Sin. The Crusader's responsibility is to lure Sin and immobilize it. The Albed will deliver the finishing blow. I wish it could be the other way around. As long as we defeat Sin, who cares? Well, that's right. If it's defeated in the end, who cares? The operation will begin shortly. Please check all your equipment. Mm. You all right? Of course not. I came here to fight Sin. But they stick me here. Mm. If you want to prove yourself. Huh? First, you must complete the tasks you are given. That's right. No one wants to promote you if you're crappy at your current job. Just doing what they say? It just won't be enough. Not about enough. Okay. So this actually changes things, but no spoilers. I'm not gonna tell I'm not gonna tell y'all what. But we're gonna do a poll. We're gonna do a poll real quick. Poll.
So I'm gonna say, what should we tell Gata? Yeah, you should. Or guarding is important. Okay. Let's do only one minute. Okay, y'all have one minute. One minute to vote. What should we do? Should we tell him to be out on the front lines? Or should we tell him guarding the command center is important too? Mart Mart is obviously better than the bar of the club. <laughs> we love Mart Mart. We love Mart Mart. What we vote for here really does change the outcome of this scene. So what should we tell Gata? Front lines or guarding is important too. You'll have a few more seconds to vote. Okay, it looks like people want guarding. A few more seconds for the vote runs out, so I'm gonna let that run all the way out just in case there's more votes. All right, guarding is important too. Here we go. You'd think the same if you were me. Probably. All right. Oh. I had heard from Seymour, but I didn't know if we'd actually meet. Awkward hug. <laughs> Good to see you, Oren. Ten years, is it? <laughs> That's when Kinok, one of the four maesters of Yevon. He leads the warrior monks and also commands the crusaders. All troops ready to move at your command, sir. All right. Good. Dismissed. Sir. Tell me, Oren. Where have you been the last 10 years? We don't have time for this now, do we? <laughs> Constantly refusing to answer that this question. This won't work. You know that. We'll just let them dream a little longer. Oh, that's what? cruel. Lord Keenock. Oh, yes. Proceed. That Keenock a maester? I heard that, Oren. A lot has happened in the last 10 years. What were you doing and where? Stuff at places. The promise I made to a friend. I still am. Just tell me one thing. Have you seen Xanarkin? <laughs> oh, Kinok knows. I kind of think we don't belong here. It is time at last. We must tell the Albed waiting outside to begin the operation at once. The fiends may break through. This place is not safe. Make sure you're prepared to defend yourselves. Tell me when you're ready. Hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Well, you'll know what that means. Oh, wait, what's he got to say? Nothing. Kimari still won't talk to me after all this time. With them here, it's like Yevon authorizes this whole operation. Yevon do do does authorize it. With them here, it's like Yevon they do. This whole operation. I mean, you're starting to get it, Waka, I feel like. Starting to understand. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to save. Because <laughs> we'd love to end on a cliffhanger, right? We love to end on a cliffhanger. So, we're going to save the game. And we're going to switch over to Pokemon. So, let's, so we're going to turn, turn that scary, intense music down. And let me bring up, bring up our Photoshop. Come on, Photoshop, don't try to take all the resources like you did last time. <laughs> it tried so hard to crash the stream before, like make me lose frames and all that mess. Pokemon! Yeah. Pokemon, gotta catch them all. We're gonna look at some Gen 5 Pokemon this time. Alright. 
Boop. Here we go. Let me clear out the chat so that it's not blocking everything. Okay. Here we go. Some Gen 5 Pokemon. All right. The first one that we are going to look at is our Gen 5 Ice type. But we should probably get, let's get some tunes. Let's get some tunes, guys. To turn those down a little bit. Some tunes for the Pokemon. All right, Gen 5 Ice type. Let's do, yeah, Smart Table, and then we want National Dex number. Search. Okay, so you can do the Vanillite line, the Ice Cream, the Cub Chew line, and that's basically it because these guys are legendary. Or you can do Cryogonal. Um, I remember whenever this gen came out and people were making so much fun of the stupid ice cream i don't i'm not choosing the ice cream here but i think it's a brave choice if the if vanillite is your favorite or any of the ice cream line you you should live your best life it's a it's a good choice all right but my choice is cup chew because of course it's the cutest one i mean look it's got like an ice snot bubble like what even is that all right so let's take a look at his entries when it's not feeling well its mucus gets watery and the power of its ice type moves decreases Oh, I'm actually going to, let's change to chill. There we go. Chill music will be better. Okay. Its nose is always running. It sniffs the snot back up because the mucus provides the raw material for its moves. It kills you with snot. Okay. As somebody who used to be a huge allergy sufferer, this warms my heart so much. I think this Pokemon is so cool. <laughs> so let me go down to my ice types here. And here we go. My Gen 5. My favorite Gen 5 ice right here, Cub Chew. Oh my god, symbols. It gets you, gets you for symbols again, Thumper. What in the hell? I'm just going to turn it off because it's it's making like periods count as symbols, which is not right. Yes, it's not. <laughs> All right, next we're going to look at the poison types for Gen 5. And yeah, we still want to do national dex number. Okay. So you can do the Venipi line, or you can do Trubbish, or you can do Fungus for this slot. <laughs> you're, you're only dying because the bot is trying its damnedest to kill you. <laughs> Alright, my favorite here is the Venipede. I think it's cute. I mean, it's a bug, yeah, but I think they're freaking adorable. Um, I think the Trubbish is also a good choice if that's your jam, but I go for the Venipede. Its bite injects a potent poison, enough to paralyze large bird Pokemon that try to prey on it. It discovers what is going on around it by using the feelers on its head and tail. It is brutally aggressive. <laughs> we love that. We love that for it. All right, let's go to the my poison types. There we go. Oh, that was the wrong one. Sorry, spoilers. That was the ghost. Okay, here we go. Poison. That's my that's my poison type for this gen. Okay. Next, let's take a look at the dragon types for this generation. They look like the bugs from Half-Life. Oh, they do kind of. I never made that connection, but you're so right. Okay, so dragon types, we've got a lot of we got a lot of legendaries, which of course I'm not putting legendaries in these slots, but you can do the Axu line, you can do Dredgeon, or you can do the Dano line. Um the my favorite for here is the Axu. I think it's so cute. So that's what we're gonna go with. I think Dino's kind of cute too, but you can't see its eyes, so it loses a little bit of aesthetic appeal for me on that. But this is what Axu looks like. He looks like a little little prehistoric dinosaur Pokemon. So cute. They use their tusks to crush berries they eat. Repeated regrowth makes their tusks strong and sharp. So I guess they wear them down and they grow again like a, like a hamster's tooth or something. They mark their territory by leaving gashes on trees with their tusks. If a tusk breaks, a new one grows in quickly. All right, let me find my dragon types and there we go. Here we go, dragon type for Gen 5. Okay. And then the next one we're going to look at, so I accidentally showed it, but we're going to go look at the ghost types. 
ghost types for Gen 5. So for Gen 5, you can do the Yen Mask line, you can do the Frillish line, or you can do the Litwick line or the Golet line. So I actually have two that I love the hell out of here. So we're gonna, I'm gonna show you my one I put in the ghost slot first, and that is Chandelure. Okay, tell me this does not look like it belongs to the Haunted Mansion at Disney World. This thing lives in the Haunted Mansion at Disney World. It does, okay? That's just how it is. It absorbs a spirit, which it then burns, by waving the flames on its arms. It puts its foes into a hypnotic trance. Being consumed in Chandelure's flames burns up the spirit, leaving the body behind. I mean, it's literally like a fire. It's a fire ghost. It's so cool. Let me go to my ghost types. All right, there we go. And then the other one that I really love for the Gen 5 ghosts is Frillish. It is a ghost water Pokemon. It looks like a jellyfish. And look, the male ones are blue and the female ones are pink. And just look at like, look at the design. Okay, they are so adorable. Um, I'm not a big as big a fan of the uh, the evolution for it, Jellicent. I'll just show it so you guys can see. They like the heads get really bulbous. I don't know, but I absolutely love Frillish. So let's go look at the entries. With its thin veil-like arms wrapped around the body of its opponent, it sinks to the ocean floor. It gives them a hug, and then it sinks. <laughs> Pokemon are hardcore, y'all. If you go by the Pokedex entries and not just by how the games are, Pokemon are hardcore. They paralyze prey with poison, then drag them down to their layers, five miles below the surface. So that one goes in my fave ghost slot right there. And of course I have to have the pink one. You know I have to have the pink one, that's all me. All right guys, so that's where we are. That's where we are on our Pokemon meme. We're, um, we're making progress, y'all, we're making progress. It's still gonna be quite some time before we finish it, but we've got a lot of them filled in. We've got some rows almost finished, like there's only one more poison that we could even do, the Gen 1 poison, right? We've got almost all the dragons filled in. Like we got, we got, we almost got some bingos here, almost got some bingos. All right. Okay, so that's the end, that's the end. Yeah, they tendered the jellyfish. They, I mean, they all have genders, but some are more dramatic difference, differences than others. All right, guys, so that's it. That's the show. That's um, artistic uh, artistic license for, for this Thursday. Uh, a couple of things. First thing, very important, we're playing Among Us on Saturday. If you would like to play with us, please show up to the stream. You don't have to join the voice chat, but if you do want to join the voice chat, what we're going to be talking about is our favorite shipping tropes for Valentine's Day, right? Uh, so you're welcome to play even without the voice chat. So come on to our Saturday stream. That is noon to two Eastern. We would love to have you there. We would love to have a full Among Us team like we had last time for Christmas. Um, if we don't, though, of course, we will fill up on randoms. No worries. We will have a full game. All right. So all the places you can find me, I have this handy dandy. Let's do it. I have this handy dandy command now. Here's all the places you can find me. Oh, no. Yeah, there we go. Here's all the places you can find me. I have my YouTube channel, which is where Spare Room goes. That's my scripted content. That's every uh, Wednesday at 2 p.m. I have right here on Twitch, we have our Thursday stream, Artistic License, which starts at 6.30 Eastern. We have our Saturday stream, which is a conversation with my friends, usually Landon and others. That starts at noon. Uh, also, there's all the regular ways to support me. Um, PayPal, Patreon, subscribing to the Twitch. You guys know the drill. Y'all know how this works. Y'all know how content creation works, right? I also have a TikTok and a Twitter that is mostly advertising for my YouTube channel and for the stream. However, there is also uh, additional content on there. If you like hot takes, go to the Twitter. If you like silly, weird stuff, go to the TikTok. It's appropriate for the platform. Also, we have our Discord server, is our Roleplay Help Discord server. If you are interested in getting more reliable notifications on when I have stuff go out, because you can't trust YouTube or Twitch, <laughs> then join the Discord. Or if you would like to participate in some of the Roleplay Help that we do on there, we would absolutely love to help you out or have you help others. All right, that's it. That is it for the stream today. Let's find someone to raid, because again, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be a better streamer, okay? Trying to be a better streamer. Let's see, who can we raid today? Who can we raid? All right, so um, I have somebody that I recently followed that's doing Stardew Valley right now. Let's go watch some Stardew Valley. Uh, this is Lone Wolf XX. So get those raid emotes, emotes ready. Uh, let her know that I sent you. 
So here we go. Lone wolf. All right. Okay, y'all have fun. Watch some Stardew. Bye, guys. See y'all on Saturday. Okay, we're ready. Let's go.